everyone. So I just wanted to do a really quick video of something I just actually started uh, playing around with. Um, so we have a new diamond painting here. You can kind of see my my ruler on there, but uh, that's actually not what I'm doing the video about. Um, what I've had issues with in the past is these multi-placers. This one uh, you can see has the... Uh, the clay or the wax in it already. Um, but what I find is that they're really deep and I don't know if you can, I don't know if I can focus in here. You can kind of see there's little ridges in there. So I mean, after what I've been finding anyways, there, there's some ridges. You can kind of see them there. Um, what I found is after, you know, just a few uh, grabs of the, the diamonds that it will, um, it, basically you get those little ridges and they you have to put more wax take this wax out put more in it and I'm finding I'm doing that a lot more often than um, say one of the one of the smaller ones um, one of the smaller multi placers I mean so what I tried to do there was a couple ideas that uh, that I looked at or saw on YouTube that I actually tried tonight. Um, I didn't film that, but I uh, just want to let you guys know kind of what the outcome was. Um, the first one was basically uh, removing the clay out of here and putting a little bit of hot glue gun. And the idea was is that it would make the depth of this a little bit smaller so you would use less wax, which made sense. Um, I tried the hot glue gun and uh, what I did knowingly burnt myself but I mean I, I'm pretty callous from all the hot glue gun burns at this point is uh, basically I put the hot glue gun in there and just ran my finger along it to try to give it a little bit of a uh, you know so it wasn't quite flat with with the edges of it um, and then put some some of the wax in tried it it didn't quite work so well um, the other thing I tried, and maybe it's the sticky tack that I'm using. Uh, I'll just... This is what I had basically kicking around the house, uh, you know, for posters or whatever. I think I had this. This was left over from a birthday party. Um, so one of the other suggestions was to use like a sticky tack uh, instead of the clay because it will last a lot longer uh, and it's certainly a heck of a lot stickier. So I tried that. Um, yeah, it picked the diamonds up really great, but it didn't release them that well. Now, maybe it was because of this ruler, which I'm still kind of getting used to. Uh, and you can see the plastic on here too, but, um, so yeah, it, it kind of could have been a combination of the ruler and, you know, the sticky tack, but I don't know, um... I, I want to personally stick with the ruler, and I know you can use a multi-placer for it. Uh, it's just a matter of me figuring out, you know, because, like, if you look at this one here, uh, and I actually just got this today, um, you can see, oh, like, that's a lot of space in here. And I really, really do not want to be using that. Um, so what I did is actually you know what I'll grab both of them so you can kind of see them together so the one on the left is the one that I modified and the one on the right is the the one that came you know with the uh, with the package set that I bought not uh, it didn't come with this diamond painting I actually bought a set of these multi placers with some uh, containers and stuff like that so what I did and I'm trying to kind of half focus in here you can sort of see that the one on the left is a lot shallower. That's actually not a bad shot there. So it's a lot shallower. Um, well, maybe not a lot, but you get the idea. So basically what I did is the idea for all these other YouTube videos was to try to fill that, then only use a little bit of clay. But that was kind of a pain. So all I did is grab some spare sandpaper of mine and uh, sanded it down. Um, yeah. So... I mean, this is literally what I used. Uh, this is eh, not 50. It is 150. And this other one here is, I think, 320. Not, I honestly don't even think this really matters. Um, I just used something that wasn't too, too rough. Uh, just because I didn't want it to, like, really eat that away. So that's why I, I just grabbed the 150. You could probably use, like, 200 or something. It 
doesn't really matter, I would imagine. And then this 320 was just more uh, if there was any burrs left on it, that kind of thing. So literally all I did was, and you can kind of see where I, where I went, is just go back and forth. What I kind of did is held it, held it down just sort of off on the shoulders and ran it back and forth. What I did find is, I mean, this is a flat surface, um, but I kind of... I, I had to try it a few times, uh, and it probably took about three or four four tries, but I mean, the idea is, is that once you get that perfect depth, then it's set for life. You, you don't really have to worry about it. So um, what I did is I find the edges sometimes will stick. So, you know, you, you'll go and you'll grab your diamonds and whatnot, and then you go to put them, you know, put them on here, and... You'll get, usually what I'll do, mostly with the ruler, which, like I said, I just started using, is I'll sort of rock it. So, I mean, I don't have any diamonds in here, but just to give you an example, basically I will grab the, grab the diamonds and just sort of rock this kind of like that. Uh, I don't know if you could, let me try it a little bit lower. So basically, you know, you start and you just sort of rock it. Um... And I find that works a lot better with the ruler, just to get everything aligned properly. But if you're not using a ruler, you could probably just literally, you know, do it normally and just uh, tap it on there and it should work fine. Um, I took, and I don't know if it was misaligned, could have been because I was doing this by hand. Um, I took a little or tried to take a little bit off more off the shoulders, like not on the sides here, but just, you know, this is an exaggerated view, but I would like go like this. And then like that, just to uh, get those edges. Um, and you can see the wax in there. Uh, there's not nearly as much wax in there as this. So, I mean, you get the, the conservation of of the wax. Oh, my camera's not focused. There you go. So, you don't use nearly as much wax. I mean, I've got a ton of it. Um, there they are. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not exactly hurting. Uh, so, yeah, the only thing I did find is because this is shallower, um, and I mean, I, I think these come in pretty much standard, uh, you know, sizes, like in terms of uh, the, the depth of this here, um, is I would I would go, you know, and put, put the, uh, I mean, obviously there's plastic on it right now. You would have to take the plastic off. I put it on, and then if I tried to remove it, it would just show like the little indent. So what I did, I put it in there, scooted it off, and flipped it over and kind of, you know, ran my finger on it and kind of smushed it in there. Uh, and so far, I mean, this has been working. It took a little bit of getting used to, but like I said, it could be just because the ruler is still kind of a new tool for me. But, uh, yeah, let me let me see if I can just sort of put them up next to each other. Um, but this this tool here, I, I very seldom use at all. Like, and I want to use it, but it's... I can't get all the beads on there, so it's like, why bother, you know? Um, this one I've had decent luck with, and there's another one here. I haven't modified this one. Uh, this one actually is okay. Uh, I think it, there might be some residue left of the uh, of the hot glue, which I'll need to grab out of there. But um, this kind of gives you an idea, uh, like the different multi-placers that are available. And the bigger ones tend to be a little bit more cumbersome. Um, like I said, because because of, of those little ridges and whatnot. But um, if you just sand it down instead of having to, you know, worry about burning yourself with hot glue or you know filling it up with something underneath. You know, I was even thinking of dropping some crazy glue in there, but that would be you know far too permanent for my liking. In case I messed up, uh, I didn't want to have to have to go. Sorry, that's that's my dog playing with his uh, with the box that this came in. <laughs> so, but that's about it. Um, I just wanted to kind of keep this a short, quick video, and it's a little longer than I had anticipated. But that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea on how you can um, modify your tools a little bit to work with your process a little better. Uh, if you're someone that likes to use just with you know with the tip and just do one at a time, then I guess you don't really have to worry too much about 
<laughs> about um, doing that. Uh, although I have, I haven't had bad luck with these guys here, um, but I have heard some people say that uh, you know the depth of this is is pretty deep, and sometimes they have issues. I never have, but if you are, I guess you could try this. I don't see why it wouldn't work if you were having some issues with it. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know how it works for you, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.